Sarah does all the things that we were just talking about. It's it's designed to uh, reflect a financial statement. Uh, the numbers that we input are um, designed to you know affect efficiency, margins, memberships, and and cash flow, profits, and and so we built this. It's a new form of software. It's not the old way where the the other competitors out in the space are dispatcher centric, no matter which software they are. They built the entire software based on the dispatcher running your business. And I, through my career, never could take my business to the next level until I got a really good dispatcher to help me go to the next level. And then the next problem happened was, well, I need now I need two of those really good dispatchers. And so I was out. Of, I was on the search for another really good dispatcher so that I could grow my business again. Why are dispatchers so important? Because they can multitask like crazy. They're great multitaskers. Um, I always tell my kids, you're going to be a great dispatcher someday because they can multitask like, you know, we never could at my age uh, because of all the technology that they do and all the things they do now. So with this talent of great multitasking folks that you have, the center of the business is around the dispatcher, the way software is built today. And so I remember even when my business was over $10 million, I would go and have a powwow with my dispatcher to find out what was happening in my business. Um, and that's and that's got to stop. I mean, we spend a lot of time building spreadsheets for things that happened yesterday or things that happened last week. And we instead of having our employees work on today and improving the business every day. So Sarah's goal is, is how do we get rid of all these spreadsheets? And how do we get rid of all these inner office emails and give all the information to everyone? So the goal with Sarah is how do we get everyone to work on the business and not in it? And if we get everyone to work on it, we're going to be way more successful. We've always heard the term. You, if you're the owner, you got to start working on your business and not in it. And what that means is if you're running service calls at some point, you got to stop running service calls and start operating your business. And then as you go through each step, you need to move up to the next level of what you should do as an owner. So Sarah helps move this along for you much quicker. So we still need dispatchers, but we take a lot of the work away from them. And it's the simple it's the things that keep them from being able to do a really good job because they work hard. I mean, it's a tough job from the second they sit in that chair to the time they leave at the end of the day. It's not just dispatching calls. It's fielding calls from technicians. It's fielding calls from customers. It's fielding calls from the CSRs. It's fielding calls, emails, all these things from everyone in the business, talking to the dispatcher and the dispatcher talking to everyone else. And what we've done is, is why don't we just let technology take care of all of that information and just give you the answers so that you can have what you're looking for. And so the average service call takes 28 touches by four different people. Let that sink in for a second. One service call. 28 times four different people touch that call from the time you take the call to the time you collect money. And that's just way too many. That is the redundant time wasting efficiency killing uh, way we run our businesses now. And Sarah, we've created the software that will um, take care of about 25 of those touches internally and make all those decisions. And I'll give you a couple of, a couple of examples here. If you're an HVAC company, um, it's it's May, season's getting started in the South, um, and you're kind of you're busy already. And at 10 o'clock in the morning or 9 o'clock in the morning, your dispatcher yells out, "We can't take any more calls." So earlier that morning, we had a meeting, the CSRs. In that meeting, you had your CSRs and you were telling them, "Take every call you can. We'll make them wait, but we got to book them so nobody else gets them." All right. Then you go and you have your dispatcher meeting and you tell them, take all these calls and get them off the board. You know, you can't leave until you get them all off the board. And then you have your technicians meeting and you're in there telling the technicians, slow down, show value. We got to get the customer value so we can get a good experience and get five star reviews. That is, that's not working together. We are opposing each other. We're creating friction. We're creating redundant work, extra work, because we're trying to load up the board. We're trying to clear the board, but then we're trying to slow down and show value for the customer so that they will choose us again and tell their friends and family about us. 
And so these, this is where the rub comes in. And so with Sarah, we've taken the majority of those redundant thing, processes out and automated them. And so a perfect example of this, you know, so we got that can't take any more calls. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Sarah understands that there's calls with less value on that board. So if we're going to delay anyone, let's delay the less value calls. So think about it like this. If you're taking every single call that comes in so that you can keep those people from going somewhere else, you are now providing terrible service to every single call you go to because you are never on time. You can't predict when you're going to be there. You can't tell them. You can't tell the customer when you're going to be there and they end up waiting. That is the industry norm. And for me, that's not normal. But Sarah, Sarah is going to figure out your best customers with the best calls and find the best text for that call. The ideal here is how do we get the best tech on the best call based on several factors, where they're located, their capabilities, their availability, all of these things that you knew, used to have to go and reach out to several different people. Remember the touches? Let's say, for instance, you get a call from a customer that's a good customer. They got a 12-year-old system and it's broken. Your CSR was just told that they couldn't take any more calls today. But she's been trained to say, hey, I got to take this call but I've been told I can't take a call. So she puts a customer on hold. She get, picks up the phone and she brings over to the dispatcher or maybe she walks over, whatever, whatever the case. And she says, I've got Mrs. Jones over here, 12 year old system, it's finally broken. She's been a customer for five years. And the, tech, the uh, dispatcher says, well, you know, I'm full. I don't really know where I can put her, but let me see what I can do. So. She's been interrupted from her dispatching duties, and now she's going to go and interrupt as many technicians as she can to find out when they're going to be done with the current jobs they're on. So she can try to figure out a way to place this call somewhere on the board. And this happens multiple times during the day. And so now we're disrupting the technicians out in the field. And, and this just repeats itself over and over and over. And, and then, therefore, we can no longer provide a good service to anyone because we're just now we're doing the exact opposite of what we were just told, telling the text. She's wanting them to hurry because we got more calls, but yet they were told to slow down so they can show more value and get higher tickets. And this is where, where we continue to cause all these conflicts and problems inside our, our businesses. And so Sarah is designed to go, you know what? I see a tune up in here that I may be able to pull out, or maybe I see a five-year-old system that's having some trouble but they have multiple systems. So they've got air conditioning and there's no chance of selling anything on a five-year-old more than a, probably a capacitor or something. And we've got this 12-year-old that's about to fail. And so Sarah's like, I like the 12-year-old better. I'm gonna slot the 12-year-old into this guy's slot and I'm gonna take the five-year-old and I'm gonna put it in unassigned. And now your dispatcher has a job to do. And that job is to make a personal phone call to that customer and say, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to delay your call today. I'm going to let you know you'll be later in the day. Now, we just did that to one customer. That's it. Instead of doing it with all the customers. And so that is how we get more organized. And the other thing with Sarah, the dispatcher never has to call and ask the technicians when they're going to be finished, because as a technician sells something, there's time associated with it. Remember, we talked about sell, uh, charging for every minute of everyone's time all year long. Well, this is the case where Sarah keeps up with this information. And so if a guy sells four hours worth of work and he's been there two hours, there's a two hours left on that am amount of time. And through our job time efficiency mod module, you can fluctuate those times as you learn more about how long it really takes guys to do these types of jobs. You're also going to learn how long it takes you, takes you on the average to drive to jobs um, so that you can figure that time in as well. Um, there's an average amount of time over the entire department, over the entire company that we spend on the road. It'd be nice to know that um, and take that information and start charging for that information. And so Sarah already knows when they're going to be finished and knows where to slot that call. And this is saving all those touches that we were talking about and this stuff happens in milliseconds and you still need your dispatcher they're still to take care of the upset uh 
you know, the exceptions to the rule, you know, when there's a situation like this, they can handle it. Uh, you still have that personal touch with your customer. All these things happen uh, easier and uh, just simplifies your business, bottom line.